What's going on guys, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to solo Cupid Dungeon with Pika. So I did eat Pika and with this method, this this two times lucky has been treating me real nice. I've gotten two Guras, an Ito, and two Sunas. So expect a giveaway soon most likely. But um, for the, this is going to be a uh, an Elo Hammer or Trident method. method. And um, first you're going to come by starting up here. Um, these are my stats if you want to take a look at them. Um, what I like to do is I like to um, peek a kick and then I like to um, mirror. And then you come around this corner. I'm going to be doing the fast as I can. So if you need to pause or slow down the video, you can. Come here, block. Because sometimes bazooka users spawn, yep, like right there. What I like to do is peek a kick the bazooka users and then light ray because the peek a kick would have baited their block then come wait a few seconds so you don't get knocked back out of the barrier come up here um block because sometimes a bazooka user spawns here or here but it looks like we are lucky this time just to bait their block m1 a couple times and then let right for this next part um come jump over here um get right in the middle and hold light lunge and just look up you're gonna take a bit of damage but it's fine they won't do enough to kill you after a couple seconds you can let go gepo a bit until they release their block and then hold pika kick what i like to do is i like to um kill the bazooka user so they don't miss out my light rays and then jump up here bait their block that's still needed and light ray oh they perfect block me that's fine let's do that um, you can really just wait for your uh, mirror to come back. And here we go. So just light ray them till they're dead. And now you can definitely do this a lot faster, like probably really fast if you don't, if like everything goes really right for you. But um, yeah. Okay, so for here, you're gonna wanna jump up here. M1 a couple times to make their block and light ray. Light ray them until they're dead. Alright. Now come over here. Now for the Mara boss, it's all about timing, and I'll tell you guys how to do the timing. Um after this. So there's a one assess user, just hold block, wait for them to do their M1s. And then you can do that. That's, that would also have baited their blocks, and so now you can just peek away. For this next part, the timing, you have to be really good with it. As soon as the doors open fully, what I like to do is peek a fly, and then count to three in my head. So one, two, three, jump up, and oh, looks like he blocked here, but if you do it perfectly, he will not block. And you can just get free so this this is gonna take a little longer but I can tell you how to be the most efficient with the, um, the mirror boss so M so just do the do an M1 um, when he uses his ult you can just pick a fly away but for this one this this fight is really about patience because mm, the mirror bot Leo does a lot of damage so three M1s four or four M1s oh back up um, whenever he like uses stuff like that, I like to light ray or something, and then you know you can use lunch here. Basically, just fight him. Obviously, this wouldn't take as long if you if you hit the ult, but it's gonna take a little longer since I did not hit the ult. But this is a good time for to just demonstrate how you can do it if you don't hit the ult. So just block. Just keep on. Just keep rinse and repeating. Um, you can use party table kick because that it does a good amount of damage. Light kick, and then you should be able to finish him off with Pika Ray right here. Oh, or not. Okay, that should finish him off. There we go. Yep. Okay. But basically, the timing is fly as soon as the doors open fully, and then count to three in your head. And 
and then you should be able to ult him perfectly. This method takes a little bit to get down, but once you get it down, it is super duper fast. So, um, you, if you have Trident or Elo Hammer, just pound him in this rock. If you do not, then you're gonna have to do a different method. But, um, that's fine. Alright, just wait. Try and bait her block. Ken Hockey helps a lot for baiting her block, because you can actually see when she blocks. Is she gonna block? Okay, there we go. She blocked, and now you can light ray. Just light ray until it runs out. And then once she gets to half, I'll show you what you're gonna do. You're gonna gepo forward, and you're gonna use your ult. And you should be able to do it, and then you're gonna just just follow what I do. Like I said, you can, so right now my recording's at about five minutes, 30 seconds. So it's taken me about five minutes to get to, oh, I messed up. It's taken me about five minutes to get to this point. But if you didn't have any of the mishaps that I had at the beginning, you could definitely do it a lot faster. Like maybe f like probably down to four minutes. And I'm messing up right now, so. All right, but this light ray should get him down um, to half. And then you can jump, Gepa forward, and Jewels of Light. And that does a good amount of damage. And then I like to back up, block, and then just do what you were doing for Leo. Also, for NPCs like this, you could, once they do their Fire Emblem ones, you could do Parry Table Kick because they're stunned after they do their M ones. Um. So yeah, just be cautious because she, she does do a lot of damage, but after you've done it for a while, you get used to it. And yep, there we go. That's how you do it. My recording's at six minutes, seven minutes basically, but you could definitely do it a lot faster if you uh, don't have any mishaps. But uh, yeah, that's it. And that's the method, so see you guys in the next one. Bye.